Hello everyone, this is Zuken. Today I'm bringing you a new drawing video. This one is going to be the Crusader from Diablo 3. Not really the Crusader, just any Crusader really, just my version of, of one. Uh, the Crusader, as you may or may not know, is the newest class implemented in the Reaper of Souls expansion slash patch uh, for Diablo 3. It is my new main. I've leveled it to 70 finally. And I kind of like it. Back in Diablo 2 I used to play Paladin. I think it was the class I stuck to most, simply because of survivability and just its support abilities. So um, switching over to Crusader was kind of the natural thing to do. I already have a 70 Demon Hunter that's pretty well geared, and a Sorceress that's also pretty well geared, or Wizard, whatever it is. But the Crusader appeals to me in its, um, in its abilities and uh, just playstyle. It's one of those classes that's really gimpy at the beginning, until you get the really good items, which will eventually drop. It takes a while, but they do drop. And then you're like a fucking powerhouse. You know, it's not like a wizard where you get 70 and you can still join Torment 1 or 2. Stay in the back and just throw arcane orbs. Uh, here you gotta actually be in melee. And it hurts like a motherfucker if you're not properly geared. So it takes a bit of effort to make a good character out of it. But I really enjoy it. So uh, this is gonna be meant as a painting uh, practice video. I made the drawing, it was finished in its current form, I inked it, and then I decided to take it one step further and put it in Photoshop, because I promised I would uh, force myself to practice digital painting, since it's something that I need to do, because I have the tablet, and it's a waste if I don't. So, all in all, it took about seven hours, I've done this the entire day, ever since I got back from the gym, and uh, I got a monster headache right now, but I think it was worth it, because I... You know, practice is always important, and if I don't make time for it, then it never never happens. So I'm just going to read the bio for the character from the Blizzard website, and then we'll talk about other stuff. So this is the Crusader. The leaders of the harmonious Zakarum religion once strove to imprison Mephisto, Lord of Hatred, beneath Trevinkel Temple, preventing him from ever twisting the hearts of humanity again. They failed. It was not the first time Zakarum had lapsed. Two hundred years prior, the cleric Akan noticed corruption at the heart of his faith, and sent his acolytes on a far-ranging quest to cleanse it. Akan's crusaders were young recruits, chosen for honor and goodness, trained in weaponry and flesh-scouring magics, though their most important quality was unwavering devotion to duty. Today the crusaders' focused quest for purity was broadened, flimsy containment gives evil many opportunities to thrive, and wandering crusaders, often master and apprentice pairs, regularly strike down Sanctuary's demons. Some fight out of righteousness, others in the hopes that their victories may make corrupt Zakarum whole again. When a crusader's master dies, their student takes up their weapon and their identity, and the crusade continues even beyond death. So yes, very devout individual, this crusader guy. It's a fun class to play, I think. It's a mix of paladin and... Well, not, I don't know what else, really. Paladin and barbarian, I guess. But not even that. It's just a, a revamped paladin from uh, Diablo 2. And it doesn't quite play the same. I remember in Diablo 2 there used to be a, a particular armor and a particular weapon with lifesteal that you would use with uh, zeal. And then you were basically immortal. You could tank anything. There was just so much uh, lifesteal going on that nothing could ever touch you. And I almost got it before I stopped playing, but it wasn't quite enough. I didn't get very lucky on loot. And I'm not lucky on loot now. Fucking nothing drops. But regardless, uh, the way I proceeded with this particular drawing was uh, I basically scanned the line art in Photoshop, and some painters used choose to use the line art, other others blech, fucking words. Some painters choose to use the line art, others don't. So um, I personally like using the line art because it's a very good guideline of where I'm supposed to paint. My hand isn't yet formed enough working on a tablet to be able to just wing it or to sketch it in Photoshop, so it would be ideal if I could and just ditch the the hand-drawn line art altogether, but that will come probably much further down the line. So uh, I just took each individual piece of armor or gear that um, was supposed to have a different color. I did a bit of a crazy color mix here. I'm not sure if the scheme works particularly well, but the armors in Diablo 3 right now, they're pretty ridiculously designed. Like, they have some awesome 
awesome armor designs going on and every sort of design element you can think of is probably incorporated in some piece of armor or another from animal heads to skulls to gargoyles crosses fucking name it anything the armors are like so complex and just i I really enjoy the design actually i think it's um it's grown a bit since diablo was launched and stuff kind of looked shitty still has performance issues but what you're gonna do but yeah anyway diablo is kind of the main game i'm playing right now um with the patch and the reaper of souls expansion a lot of people that i used to play world of warcraft with have returned and uh, it's pretty cool to just hang out and level characters and grind loot i guess it's a pick it up put it down kind of game which is what i want i don't want something that i have to invest a lot of time in um or have to show up for like raids and whatnot so it works pretty well for my situation and until i get bored of it i'm gonna keep playing it i'll probably do get bored of it at some point because i do of pretty much every game that i pick up but for now it's it works just fine so yeah as i said this uh drawing slash painting experiment took about almost seven hours and of course it didn't turn out i mean compared to some what some other people do with their tablets it's not even close but i think it's okay for practice this is going to be a long journey for me. I can I can feel that because digital painting just takes so long, I think. It's it's nothing like a a pencil sketch you can just you know shade out roughly and that's it. With digital painting you actually have to go for the details and I'm a very detail obsessed person. And yes, uh, I realize that some of you will probably point out some perspective mistakes in this drawing and I'm very well aware of them. But staring at the same thing for 7 hours, you tend to start missing certain things and not observing them, but uh, I'm sure it's fine. That'll get fixed when I get more practice. So, thanks for watching. Please rate that shit if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good week. Bye-bye.